Okay. Welcome on to the Crew Philosopher Podcast. I'm your host. You want to know only the Crew Philosopher here, but you guys can call me Cruel. Uh, thank you for rocking with me for another 10-minute uh, episode of the podcast. You know, my many shows that I do, my daily shows. We had to sit back and, you know, discuss a topic that is on my mind. Uh, and today's show is going to be your Tuesday show. I'm going to give you guys two episodes back-to-back since I missed my Tuesday show. And so, you know, the second episode will be coming out right after this one. Uh, and today I want to talk about Tariq Nasheed. <laughs> right? Tariq, Tariq Nasheed, the, the notorious Tariq Nasheed, the master of the internet Tariq Nasheed, the, the master of the max Tariq Nasheed, the uh, 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 racial soldier Tariq Nasheed, the sometimes referred to as racial hustler or, or race hustler Tariq Nasheed, <laughs> the, the producer of the uh, Hidden Color series Tariq Nasheed, the producer of the new Buck, what's it called? Buck breaking documentary, Tariq Nasheed. This is a man who is very notorious. And basically, I wanted to tackle the question of is Tariq Nasheed a a, uh, a a race hustler? Because this accusation has been levied against Tariq Nasheed for many, many years now. And I, I have to be honest, I have a mixed impression of Tariq. There was a point in my life where I was headed down the well, I can't even say headed down. Where I was very interested in race and race, you know, race topics and searching out voices who were a part of the racialized conversation on the internet. So Umar Johnson was one of them. I went to his. He had a, a talk in New York City. I actually went to in person. Paid a ticket to go see. It was a life changing experience that I had. And you know, I started following Tariq Nasheed. I started following the you know, Boyce Watkins. You know, um, the, the Black Man on Spear, O'Shea Du Jackson. And so Tariq is a very interesting guy. A, 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 an interesting character, and so he gains fame by writing these books on like on, on game, pretty much. You know, teaching guys how to get girls. You know, signs to look out for dating women. That was his lane originally, right? He was the he was an author of those books. Matter of fact, let me see if I can pull up the the name of the books. Tariq Nasheed books. Okay, so I, all right, so yeah, in two thousand he wrote a book called The Art of Mackin. In 2004, he wrote Play or Be Played, What Every Female Should Know About Men Dating and Relationships. In 2005, he wrote The Mac Within, The Holy Book of Game. In 2008, he wrote The Art of Gold Digging. In 2009, he wrote Play or Be Played. Uh, I, that might have been a re-release, or who knows. And then he, he wrote um, 10 Rules Men Must Know in Order to Deal with Women. And so these were books written by Tariq Nasheed. Now, here's the thing. I'm looking at the ratings for these books. Barnes & Nobles gave The Art of Mackin 4.3 out of 5. It gave The Mac Within 4.5. I know, so Goodreads gave it 4.1 out of 5. eBay gave it 4.5 out of 5. The Art of Gold Digging, Goodreads gave it 3.6 out of 5. eBay gave it 5 out of 5. Play or Be Played, Goodreads gave it 4 out of 5. Scribd gave it 3.7 out of 5. eBay gave it 4 out of 5. And The Elite Way, Barnes & Nobles gave it a 4.4 out of 5. Goodreads a 4.3 out of 5. So, look, I have no idea how the rating system works, but, I mean, these seem to be very, very cherished pieces of literature, <laughs> right? So, this is how Tariq Nasheed got his start. And then, somewhere along the line, he started, you know, doing the race stuff. And he released his Hidden, Hidden Colors series. And the reason why I know the, the Hidden Colors franchise must be good is because Tariq Nasheed has been making fun of Jason Willock for years. Making fun of that man's weight, call him all, ki- all types of fat, coon, this and that. For years. And Jason Willock one day, I will never forget it. Jason Willock on Twitter had, you know, tweeted at Tariq Nasheed, said something disparaging, but then also said, get back to making, you know, your next Hidden Colors film. Because it, apparently it's that good. And I can't tell whether or not this is kind of just the next hustle for Tariq Nasheed or if he's genuinely he, he believes what he believes. Now, I'm leaning towards believing he genuinely believes these things because... I don't think you can keep up an act this long. So the last book here was 2009, you know, his player books. It's 2021. Like, to go an entire de- decade front, I-, I don't think it's possible. And who's to say that you can't have multiple interests, right? Now, I know we're all used to back in the day where we didn't know anything about the personal lives of our heroes. And so we didn't know Martin Luther King Jr. was out here, you know, in these streets, being in these, um, these brawls after the marches. You know, like, we didn't know that part about his life. But that was apparently a part of who he was, the life he was living. And look, he was, the dude was a rock star, pretty much. He was a, pre- a preaching rock star. And so maybe he should have had a higher moral standard, but dude was a rock star. 
And so we know more about our heroes now. And so who said that Tariq cannot also want to, at one point in his life, give guys game on women. But now he now he feels like he needs to speak up for racial injustice and speak on racial equality. And he's giving voices to people like, um, what's the guy's name? I mean, at one point he was rocking with Lamar Johnson. You know, he said he donated money to the school, which is great. He threw like a a convention or a function in Atlanta, I think, uh, earlier this year or last year, uh, and uh, very popular. Um, you know, Mosh Teray was there, uh, Judge Joe Brown was there, and so Tariq Nasheed is actually putting like his money behind these things. And so, yes, he's collecting money, and that's the argument in favor of this guy's a grifter. But he's also spending a lot of money as well. And so, if I had to choose, I'm leaning towards Tariq and she believes what he believes. I just think Tariq is wrong a lot. Like, Tariq views every and any situation between a white person and a black person as an example of racism or systemic racism. He even coined this new phrase, suspected white supremacist. I remember him saying that the reason why he started saying that word is if he doesn't have proof that you are white supremacist, but he he feels like you say white supremacy things, then he puts you under the category of suspected white supremacist until you can prove that you're not a white supremacist. Just think about how bad shit crazy that sounds. <laughs> that sounds insane because it is insane. And so I think his ideology is toxic for black people. I think we focus way too much on race. And I believe Tariq Nasheed believes what he's saying and he's wrong. Very, very wrong. But because he's so masterful with the internet shit, he's able to you know, gather this following that he has. And you can't be a hater. The dude has 168,000 subscribers on, on um, YouTube. And this, is not, this was not his first YouTube account. I believe he had a YouTube before and it got deleted. And so who knows what that number would be if his original channel never got taken out. And so Tariq Nasheed is a guy that he doesn't have a lot of mainstream media uh, power, but he is very, very powerful on the internet. Extremely powerful on the internet. And he uses that to his advantage. And so he has like this cult-like following of people who believe in him and who support him and who ride by his every word and who believe that this guy is a true black leader. And in a way he is, right? I'd rather have leaders like him who are actually, you know, chosen by the people than what the mainstream media does, where they kind of select our heroes, they select our leaders, and they tell us who we should allow to lead, which I think is insane. So, yeah, Tariq, look, like, I'm going to just read you some of his latest YouTube titles. Synthetic Bayangs is a video about uh, Cynthia G. Um, the Pillaging of Juneteenth, okay, I like that. Tariq Nasheed are bonnets in public cool. Not bad. Tariq Nasheed is there a rift between financial black Americans and I'm guessing, you know, other black Americans. All right. So the titles of his videos aren't actually that bad. It's more so his Twitter that's just, I mean, Lord have mercy. He just, and maybe that's kind of his trick, right? Maybe the thing with Tariq Nasheed is he says so many things that a sane black person can agree with. That you just look past the the crazy stuff, and so when and so when he's calling you know every interaction between a, a, a white person and a black person an example of you know system, systemic racism, you know a, a sane black person kind of looks past it because when you like when I just read these titles, these titles seem like very interesting videos that I would want to listen to and see what you're talking about. They don't seem that crazy, and I think that's kind of how he gets by. Yeah. You guys know, I think that African-Americans are in a tough spot in America, but I don't think it is caused by, you know, outside oppression on us. Right. And it isn't, this is not to say that, we're, that we don't face discrimination or we don't have hurdles to jump over. I just don't think that that is responsible for most of our inability to move ahead. And so Tariq Nasheed believes the exact opposite. He believes that America hasn't changed at all. He, he said these things in his monologues. He believes we are the same country today that we were 50 or 60 years ago. They just got better at doing what they're doing. And that type of conspiratorial thinking is rampant in the black community, unfortunately. But I can't support it. So, yeah. I believe Tariq Nasheed is genuine. I just believe we, he should not be the person that we're following. So, yeah. See you guys next time.